Welcome to another edition of This Week in Disc Golf. It is Tuesday, October 11th. I'm Charlie Eisenhood, and let's talk about what happened this week. Well, we're almost to the end of the season. The Disc Golf Pro Tour Championship is about to start, and we just had the USDGC and the Throw Pink Women's Disc Golf Championship. Last major of the year in MPO. Second strongest field of the season. Huge payouts in FPO. 25 grand to the winner of USDGC, 10 grand to the winner of Throw Pink. Let's start in MPO, USDGC hallowed ground at Winthrop Arena. Kicking things off in breezy but beautiful conditions in Rock Hill, South Carolina. Ricky Waisaki sending it on hole 14 and putting it underneath the elevated basket. And from the hazard on 16, oh yeah, Ricky, bogey free, day one, he'd have a share of the lead heading into the clubhouse. Calvin Heimberg, safely on the green on 17, good start for him. Nicholas Antela up at the top, tied with Ricky. Macbeth, through the clown's mouth. And he was a little back of the lead at the end of day one, but starting to make a charge. Turkey on hole eight. Antila, the fin. Beautiful shot on the tunnel, hole four. He's tied for the lead, and then he put down one of these absolutely fantastic rollers on hole eight. Oh, yeah. So, Antela, still share the lead. We go to round three. A little cooler. Wind, still a factor, but nothing crazy. Flag's moving a bit. Antela, hole one. Oh, yes. Taking over sole lead at 16 down with that banger from distance. But you know what's coming. It's a major. Paul Macbeth. He's in the rear view. Gannon Burr, 12 down, coming into hole seven. And how about this? Coming out of hole 10, he's tied for the lead. Just like that. Antela in for the birdie to take the lead on the 18th, going into the final round. He becomes the first European MPO player to have a sole lead at the USDGC. Here's Kyle Klein. Are you kidding me? Look at this. From the wrong side of the Mando, he rolls it all the way underneath the basket. Gannon Burr, second place. Pressure on. Calvin Heimberg, Paul Macbeth on the card with him and Antela. Heimberg's trying, trying to win his first major. Young Guns as well, and of course Macbeth trying to chase down Ken Climo to tie him for the all-time major lead. Disaster hole for Heimberg. Triple bogey on 10, and that drops him way out of contention. Gannon Burr in trouble on 13, and he compounds the mistake, slides it across the card path out of bounds. So double bogey for Burr, and... He's now three shots back of Antela heading to 14. Can Nicholas Antela become the first MPO European player to win a U.S. major? Well, Burr's trying to keep the pressure on, and Antela misses from close range. He gives back the two strokes just like that. Then Burr from a knee, bang on 16. Antela misses it left. We're tied up from 60. Gannon Burr, another huge circle two putt. And Antela cannot find the range. Gannon Burr has now taken the lead going into hole 18. So much danger on 18. Burr, perfect. Middle of the fairway. Antela's got to find a way to create some pressure. He's throwing first, second shot from the fairway. Oh, that's brilliant. 
Green flag. So he's inside circle one. And Ganon Burr has to execute so much OB. And it curls up, stays up on the top tier. And Ganon Burr misses just a single putt all day long. He buries it on 18 to become the youngest ever player to win at the USDGC. He breaks Will Schusterich's record. Will Schusterich's his favorite player. What an incredible journey for the young Gannon Burr. It's his first tour win at an Elite Series or a Major, and it comes at the USDGC. Let's hear from him after the tournament. I didn't think this was possible. Um, this is... This is my first time I ever watched, and it's crazy. To, I think birdie the last five holes after I double bogeyed. I thought I thought I was out of it uh, at that point. Uh, I never gave up. Made a couple huge clutch putts. Uh, Nicholas is a fantastic competitor, and he brought us all today. And that's insane. I just prayed this morning so much that whatever happened would happen. But I, I knew my time was coming, and um, you know this has got to be the best moment of my life so far. There's so much you can say about Gannon Burr's first big win. Not only is he the youngest player ever to do it, he shot the second highest round rating ever in the final round of a major to win. Ricky Wysocki shot a 1097 back in 2017 at the Aussie Open. Burr, 1090 rated final round, 12 under. That was tied for the best round at the tournament with Joel Freeman, who did it in round three. And the list goes on for Gannon Burr. Over the last 29 holes, he shot a 23 under. He had 21 birdies, two eagles, and just a single double bogey. Incredible. Birdied the last five holes in order to close out the victory over Nicholas Antila, one of the most promising players from Europe. And just a special performance from a rising superstar in Burr. Let's go to FPO. Katrina Allen has been struggling of late, but opens up her tournament with a park job on hole one. The favorite coming into the tournament, of course, Kristen Tatar, hasn't missed the podium and has just been in dominant form the last six weeks. Showing you how it's done on hole nine for the Eagle and the 2021 Throw Pink champion, Missy Gannon, perfect on 17. Tatar was playing well, but kind of went off the rails late at the end of round one. Takes a quadruple bogey. Missy Gannon has the lead after one. Round two, Jen Allen on the tee. Oh, yeah. Up and in with the skip. And one of a number of fantastic aces that we saw this weekend. Katrina Allen now out in front after some putting struggles for Missy Gannon, and she is in the sand on hole six. Absolutely perfect conditions in Rock Hill. Sunny and no wind. Hannah Blomroos, fantastic birdie on 10. She is cooking in round two, seven down. She would go on to have a 10 under to match Owen Scoggins and Katrina Allen. Scoggins showing off that overstable plastic, nearly ricocheting it in off the tree. Allen playing it safe on 18, taps in the par, and she's out in front going into round three. Kristen Tatar was. 16th place after round one. Trying to make a charge here on moving day. Here's Allen. Up seven strokes after a quad bogey from Owen Scoggins. But just like this on hole six, disaster into the water. Meanwhile, up ahead, Tatar, eagle on nine. She's climbing the leaderboard. She's up into fifth place. Allen's lead shrinking as Tatar parks it on 13. Hannah Blomroos had the lead for a moment. Katrina Allen took it back and then added on with the circle two jam. 
And Blomroos going OB off the tee on 17. She's at the drop zone. Oh, goodness. Another OB stroke, and she's falling back. Katrina Allen taps in for birdie on 18. She moves to 15 down, and she has a six-shot lead over Kristen Tatar, who climbed all the way from 16th to 2nd. Tatar for birdie on three. That cuts it down to a four-shot lead. Allen would also birdie to get it back to five. Tatar, birdie on 10. How about Paige Shu? She qualified on Monday to play in the tournament. Hello. Hole 17. Da -na -na, da -na -na. She made it on the Sports Center top 10. What an ace. Straight in on the backhand turnover. Tatar, four shots back of Allen going into the final two holes of the tournament. Allen persevering through some struggles. Tatar safely on the island. Oh, Katrina clips some cabbage. And misses the island. So Tatar has a chance to cut it to two, and she's in. Allen did make the island on the drop shot and was able to get in for bogey. So Tatar has got to find a way to put some pressure on Allen on 18. Oh, this rolls out of bounds. And that means that it's all over. Katrina Allen takes home $10,000 as the winner of the Throw Pink Women's Disc Golf Championship. A huge bounce back after four tournaments of finishing outside the top 10. Her fourth win of the year. And it may not be a major, but it should count as one. That's how good she was against a fantastic field in Rock Hill. Let's hear from Katrina after the event. It would be silly to think that I wasn't thinking about Kristen half of the round and what she's doing and, and how embarrassing it would be to blow up this lead that I've played great all week. And that's why, yeah, um, there's so many different things I try to do to just stay in the moment, really. Katrina Allen averaged 997 golf at Throw Pink. That's her highest average event rating of the season. Kristen Tatar, meanwhile, continued her perfect podium streak almost clawing all the way back to a victory, but Allen hit clutch putt after clutch putt in the final round to hold off any comeback from Tatar. So Allen is going to surpass her own record earnings with her $5,000 guaranteed payday coming up at the Pro Tour Championship. Kristen Tatar has already broken Missy Gannon's single-season FPO cash earnings record with the money that she took home at Throw Pink, $6,000 for second place. So, and Great season continues for Tatar and a huge victory for Allen, who has now won her fourth event of the season. Speaking of those earnings, take a look at this cash earnings list for the 2022 season. This is your Stat Mando stat of the week. Paul Macbeth out in front with more than $78,000 in tournament earnings this year. But look who's sitting there in fourth place. Yep. Kristen Tatar, 68,107. Gannon Burr is in second, ahead of Ricky Wysocki, thanks to his $25,000 payday this weekend. But some of the top FPO players really putting up big numbers this season. Tatar, Pierce, Katrina Allen, all up inside that top 10. Onskagen sitting at $42,000. Really an impressive season from the top players in the tour. Now it's time for your social media minute. Gannon Burr posting over on his Instagram. I didn't think this was possible. It was incredible to battle against Nicholas Antela. It was so fun competing against you. Let's go. Nicholas commenting. Thanks, Gannon. You are great. I'm sure this battle was the first of many between us. And that could well be true. Perhaps we'll look back on this event as a sign of the changing of the guard. The top prospect in the U.S., the top prospect in Europe going head-to-head -head in the final round of the U.S. Championships. Gannon Burr coming out on top. Take a look at this win probability chart from UDISC in the final round. You can see as things change throughout the round, blue is Gannon Burr, orange is Nicholas Antela. Some crazy swings. After the two-shot swing on 14, you see Nicholas Antela jump up to almost an 80% win chance. And then after Antela gives it back on 14, he drops, drops again on 17 as Burr takes the lead. And then, of course, 
It goes to 100% Gannon as he taps in the birdie on 18. Wild final round. And crazy to see that it was the two young guns going up against Calvin Heimberg and Paul McBeth who outshone their veteran counterparts. So that brings us to the upcoming tournament this weekend. It's the Disc Golf Pro Tour Championships, the culminating event of the 2022 season. $302,000 on the line for the top players who earned a spot thanks to their performance this season. There's still two spots left in each event. Take a look at the bracket here in MPO. The play-in tournament is tomorrow, October 12th. It'll be live on the Disc Golf Network. Andrew Presnell, Jeremy Colling, Albert Tam, Chandler Kramer, Thomas Gilbert, and Jake Hebenheimer will be playing. The top two will get the final spots in the first round, which starts on Thursday. Players earn buys throughout the course of the season thanks to their performances. You've got the top eight players awaiting the best four from quarters up ahead on Saturday in the semifinals. $35,000 on the line for the winner and more than $9,000 for anybody who reaches Sunday. And of course, the scores reset each day. The top four scores move on each day with only two getting in from the play-in. Over in FPO, you've got Hannah Blumrus, Alexis Mondahano, Haley King, Jessica Weiss, Macy Villa Diaz, and Jennifer Allen playing in on Wednesday. And the top two will get into the quarters. Kristen Tatar, Paige Pierce, Katrina Allen, and Owen Scoggins earn buys to the semis. They are playing for the same amount of money as the men in the finals. At least $3,000 going to everybody who makes it at least two quarters. Top four scores move on. That's what you need to know. And you can tune into all of the action live on the Disc Golf Network. Make sure you follow along with all the action from the Tour Championship at Nevin Park in Charlotte. It'll also be available post-produced on YouTube from Jomez, GK, Gatekeeper, all of the typical Pro Tour coverage. That is going to do it for this week in Disc Golf. Make sure to tune back in next week as we break down the final tournament of the 2022 season and start to look ahead to what's to come in the offseason.